So I've made over the last couple of years a bingo card generator that occurs to me in this time of quarantining and sequestering that it might be a fun way that people could play bingo uh, remotely. So using like WebEx or Zoom or Microsoft Teams or some other way of making a video conference call, FaceTime, whatever. So you need one computer that's a PC and has Excel and it can actually generate however many boards you want. And then you can just send these boards to people like as a PDF file. Um, but this will also let you play the game. So you'd have to enable, it does have some code, I can show you that in another video. If you hit start, this is about generating the boards, but let's say it's already generated, you can hit the play bingo button, and here's what happens. If you hit the draw button, it will draw the clue. Now, there's two columns here, like this is the uh, bingo clue, the one that goes in the square, and this is if you want to do it like as like kind of clues so let's say you're doing it as like a foreign language thing and they have to do an English Spanish word whatever uh, but notice if I keep hitting the space bar here it keeps uh, picking clues for you if you want you can actually have it uh, speak what goes in the bingo square uh, United Kingdom yeah uh, now what's going on at the same time here is if you want to check it it's it's keeping a leaderboard so this is a live uh, leaderboard and how close each board is to being filled. Now, if you want people's names to show up because you are um, doing it over Zoom or something, um, what you do is over here in the list sheet, column M, where it says player, you type in the names and that's how that, that's how that uh, shows up there. Now, in terms of generating the boards, I will just show you real quick. So if you go to this list, you just type in uh, the bingo squares here in column B. Column A is unnecessary unless you want it to be. Um, they can be categories, that's up to you. So like this will force it in column one, column two, etc. And there's all sorts of things, like how many boards you wanna generate. Um, th there's a lot of stuff there. I can go through that in, a, in another video. But uh, if you want this, you can download it. Um, there'll be a link in the description i'll also have a link to an older video this has gone through many versions but you can see what it looks like if you wanted to see the code because it does use vba you can either press alt plus f11 or uh under view macros you can step into it you can you can see the code so it's, it's harmless it just does stuff like how to make those boards and whatnot but i think that this might be something that people might actually use. It seems like kind of a fun way to have bingo with family and friends and you can make it as creative as you uh, as you like. Definitely feel free to put any comments here if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, enjoy. If I wasn't being clear, uh, what you would do is you would open this file and I'll also link one below in the description that has just like regular bingo numbers because people usually like that too but you put in this column B whatever word you want to go on the squares of the bingo boards. You press this start button, you tell it how many boards you want, um, and then you hit generate bingo boards. If you wanna print it for people, you hit this prepare for printing button, and what that will do is, um, So uh, I was starting to say, if you hit prepare boards for printing, what that'll do is make it so you can just hit a button and print. I'd print it to PDF and then email it to whoever you want and they can see the, the board number. Um, then to actually play, to actually run the game, you can certainly do it like by hand, the old fashioned way, but if you do this, it will keep drawing them for you and it will even tell you who the top five people are if you wanna show them or don't show them. If you only wanna show ones that have a person's name, uh, there, there's a lot to it, but it just occurs to me, eh, it might be kind of a fun thing to do with uh, people over FaceTime or something. So, enjoy.